Hello everyone, my name is Yushi Hajimoto and I am a Minister of Happy Science. Today from here, Times Square, the center of the world, there is a message we would like to deliver to the people in New York and the United States of America and the whole world. First of all, I'd like to show my appreciation to President Trump of the United States of America and his office for doing such a great job in handling the situation we are in now. Also, I'd like to thank Governor Cuomo for working with our president to do, to do their best in this situation. Lastly, I'd like to thank the New York City residents in complying with the executive order to help prevent the spreading of the virus. Then, this may make you ask a question. Why are we outside making the speech? First and foremost, Happy Science or other religious entities Houses of worships are publicly essential in times like these. Why? It is because now, more than ever, is a time we must pray. We must pray together. We must pray to God. We must pray to Elohim. We must pray to Buddha. We must pray to Allah. And we must pray to Al-Kantare. By doing so, we want you to be hopeful instead of feeling fearful. We want you to feel peace instead of anxiety. We want you to increase your immunity and heal instead of falling ill. And we want you to find seeds of success and prosperity instead of losing jobs and being forced impoverishment. Speaking of hope, President Trump recently boldly declared that he would like the American economy to be open by Easter, April 12th. Also, the $2 trillion coronavirus relief bill that the Trump administration drafted has passed in the Senate. I highly appreciate his leadership and direction. Yes, we need to bring back the economy again. We need to start working again. In a way, what is scarier than the COVID-19 or the man-made coronavirus originated in Wuhan, China or the Chinese Communist Party virus is the recession that can occur is the recession that can occur. I personally know someone who has been laid off because of this situation. I know a manager working in a factory so concerned about what to do with his production line forced to be closed and is being forced into a corner of not being able to pay his employees. The best economic measure, I believe, is to start working again. Please give us back our freedom to work. You may think that we must wait until the coronavirus dies out or wait until the spreading of the virus decreases in pace. Or maybe perhaps you might want to say, let's wait until there's a vaccine. Unfortunately, it is said that it will, start, it will still take some time until a vaccine is created. Some even say it may take a year. But we cannot wait. We cannot wait for so long or else the economy will crash and the crash of economy could kill many more people. In this dire situation, our president is courageously encouraging us to get back to work starting from Easter, and I personally believe he is right. We need to bring back prosperity back into America. Master Ryuho Okawa, the founder of Happy Science and the greatest savior on earth, has taught us that fear actually precedes the spreading of the virus. It is noteworthy to mention that science has also proved that your immune system is related to your emotions and your will to live. Therefore, once the quarantine is lifted and we start working again, we want you to be fear free. How do we eradicate fear in this kind of situation? That is to have faith in God, have faith in the Holy Father, have faith in Lord Alcantara. Here is our message of hope. Faith can increase your immunity. Master Okawa, in his recent lecture, How to Increase Your Immunity, 
He has taught us the following truth. Please don't have too much fear. In order to increase your immunity, you need faith. Your belief in God becomes an immunity. Faith increases your immunity and this is the reality. So believe in the power of God and believe in God's protection. If you believe in God and practice His teachings every day, it will increase your immunity. Even if a malignant virus or bacteria enters your body, usually your white blood cells work very hard to combat the germs and viruses. Your body has a system where the white blood cells get stronger, combat, and eat up the malignant invader. So basically, things like fear and disregarding religious faith will lower your immunity. You can increase your immunity by living a life where you can see yourself as one of God's angels. And as long as you have a mission, which we all do, and pray for protection, you will be able to drive out the bad viruses. Please fill your hearts with faith in God, positivity, and a loving and caring heart. This will increase your immunity. Remember, don't fill your hearts with fear, but with faith and hope. We can eradicate this virus with faith in God or faith in Alcantara. But most mass medias are turning into fear mongers and unfortunately they are unnecessarily spreading fear. They must stop spreading fear and acting like it is a doomsday. However, at the same time, I do understand the media's concerns. I understand where they're coming from. This is such an unprecedented situation we're facing. So they themselves are fearful from not knowing what to do. They don't know why this is happening. They don't know the reason behind this pandemic. That is another reason we are standing here today in Times Square in New York City, the center and the heart of the world. Master Ryu Hokawa, the greatest savior on earth, has been receiving many prophecies from the heavenly world and many of his predictions have already come true. Please refer to our book, The New Resurrection, to find out more. And now he is receiving messages from the universe and it is said that many of these unprecedented chaotic situations will continue to occur. Many of you may already feel the resemblance of what is going on now and what is written in the Bible. The pandemic, the earthquake, the locust plague. Also in these modern times, we have a new situation which is the economic recession. Yes, what I am trying to say is that all of the phenomena occurring right now is a warning from the heavenly world. It is God's wrath. This is the truth that has been revealed by Master Okawa's recent spiritual messages he's been receiving. Then why is this occurring? What is it trying to teach us? If God is almighty and so loving, why would he do this? Let's put these questions into perspective. This situation is teaching us that humanity is starting to lose faith. Humanity is becoming more and more materialistic and human beings are becoming arrogant that they can surpass God. I'm not just saying about materialism from the perspective of personal belief, but there is a political system that is based on materialism, which is communism. Unfortunately, here now on earth, we have a huge political virus called communism. And there is a country with the second largest population, the largest population and the second largest GDP that is governed by this virus called communism. In this country, over a billion people are oppressed. Their fundamental values and human rights are taken away. Under this authoritarianism, they are taking away their fundamental rights as human beings, such as freedom of speech, freedom of faith, and more. We have just recently seen this in the Hong Kong Revolution. This government and government-owned companies steal other countries' intellectual properties. They thrive by stealing. Also, the government in this country blames other countries for their own mistakes. The government of this country lies about what is happening in the epicenter of this pandemic, saying that they already have a cure for the virus. Their national media deliberately conceals the truth and thinks that they can get away with what they started by lying. 
Moreover, this government is raising their military expenses year by year, and they've been flexing their muscles to surrounding countries, and is showing a very aggressive, invasive strategy, and is undermining the peace in its surrounding nations. Some countries, such as Uyghur, Inner Mongolia, and Tibet, has been virtually enslaved by this communist government. And let me repeat, this country has the largest population on earth and has the second greatest GDP. If God existed, do you think he will allow this to continue? He will not. WHO, the World Health Organization, please go investigate what is really happening in Wuhan. Now, let me get back to the point that humanity is losing faith. God exists. God and the heavenly spirits are speaking eloquently ever than before through Master Ryu Hokawa. If God existed and he was looking at this situation, do you think he would keep quiet? Do you think he would just let the virus of communism and atheism and materialism spread? He will not. He will not allow this out of his love. He will not allow this out of his mercy. And the unfortunate prophecies we're told by specific spiritual beings or beings from the universe states that these unprecedented situations will continue. It will not end with the coronavirus. Therefore, we must brace ourselves with faith in God, with faith in Alcantara, the Father of Jesus Christ, and the Eternal Buddha. Doomsday may seem like to be coming. However, please do not fear. We are released from fear once we know the truth. There are already so many teachings given by Master Okawa on how to increase your immunity, on how to overcome recessions, and how to control your hearts and minds to stay positive and learn from every experience we go through life. One of the most fundamental teachings here in Happy Science is that this earth is a training ground for our souls and the purpose of life is to polish our souls through different experiences. Experiencing hardships will actually make you happier because you can grow from any kind of situation. Why? Because we're all children of God. We're all children of Buddha. We all have divine nature. We can overcome any situation if we have faith. Let's restore faith in the one and only Supreme God, Lord Alcantara. Let's follow the words of the greatest Savior who has gone through the new resurrection, Master Giyoho Okawa. With faith, we will prevail. Thank you, Lord Alcantara. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, President Trump. Thank you, hardworking, good-hearted, and faithful Americans. And thank you to all the people in the world who has faith.